Oh, that's fine. Hold on. Hold on. Go the way. Go the way. Bum 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 bum. Getting everything set up. Getting everything set up. Bup bup bup. I think we're on the air. Oh, look, there's me over there. And I have appalling singing. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. What are we doing? What are we doing today? Ah. Yes. Indeed. To see how the t-shirt looks on the camera. Oh, Lord and order. That looks impressive. Hold on. There we go. Special mowing unit. Loving it. I think this is actually a decent name for a company. To be fair. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at the audio. Audio is good. Everything is great. Let it pin something to the chat. Sorry, I am late. I got back from work late because it was my first day and, well, you know, things are always rough on your first day when you get there. Yes, I am cosplaying as the guy on the lawnmower. Are we up? There's no one on the stream. No one on the stream. Where is it? No, there's one concurrent viewer. Nice. Hello, one concurrent viewer. Uh, lawn mowing pun. Put in a crying face there. Getting everything set up. Where's the lovely crying face? Yes, there we go. Boom, and can we pin that comment? Ha, oh, look at me being all tech savvy. Wonderful, got that all down. And we got this epic game, which is currently out tomorrow, actually. So this is early released. So, yeah, very lucky to have this game. Very lucky. Uh, thank you very much, Skyhook Games, for hooking us up with this awesome game. Uh, I don't know where you are with the series. Uh, it seems to be gone down pretty well today. Uh, obviously, we will be switching back to Portsley Dale. Don't get me wrong; I am a uh, hankering for some skylines. But you know, obviously, with you know early release and an early access pass, you want to make the most of it. And hopefully, tomorrow, when I probably, I presume, I have to buy the pack again, which is going to be really annoying because, like, when I downloaded this, all the stuff from the demo was wiped. Uh, so I'm hoping when I buy the game tomorrow, because I'm buying this game. 100. I am absolutely down for buying for buying this and getting this out because there's a lot to do in this game. Like there's a, like challenges over here, and you have to go forth within the like building your own company to like unlock them as well. So look, I've got no expert challenges, none of them. I've got one professional challenge here, and all the amateur hours are open to me. Uh, then you got free mo over here, which is uh, brilliant. You got I've only got three out of twelve vehicles though that I can use. Uh, so there are, I reckon in the future there's there's room to expand in this game. There is, you know, uh, what was that other game? What was that other buildy simulator game? Uh, I think it was. Uh, it was like House Flipper, wasn't it? Yeah, it was House Flipper, the one where you bought like a derelict house and then you had to do it up, flip it. And move it on, and like, oh, and you would go to like a house party and stuff, and you would have to clean up afterwards, and all all that, McGubbins. So yeah, that's very like that's where I could see there's gonna be there could be a few cheeky expansions out there by Skyhook Games, and you know there's there's room to grow here. Uh, things that I really liked about the game is just just the funness of it, really, just like. It's just it's just one of those weird games where you could have like an evening just chilling, mowing a lawn, or you could, you know, take it too seriously and like really get competitive with it. Um, and also, it's just a bit of fun. You can just, you know, draw some phallics in in, in the garden as <laughs> as a certain someone did. Not not me, obviously. I'm way too mature for that kind of shenanigans, but. Yeah, and the the amount of 
mowing puns that have come out from having this game, like working my grass off and uh, also this splantastic t-shirt. Yes. Da -da 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 wow, that's a big delay there. <laughs> and yeah, not actually wearing the Nari headphones, so I can't actually hear into the mic. So I hope you're hearing sound. Are we hearing sound? Yes, I can see the bars going up. So we are hearing gameplay sound. Uh, so let's see, likes, yeah, brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant idea. Great niche market to like feed into. Great price point as well, 24 pound. It isn't too expensive, it isn't too cheap either. So, you know, you're gonna, you may, there will be a majority of people who are gonna put this on their Steam wish list and probably wait until the sale. But still, the majority of people who are just like, oh my god, this is lols, have my money, like me, are going to buy this tomorrow. And yeah, things I don't really like, it's, it's a bit just like small. This is just one town. I don't know if one town would just have this giant company. This like multi mogul garden company grass cutting thing. Like I don't know if it expands even further than this because I'm not too far into the game, but I couldn't actually imagine it going much more further. But that would be interesting if it got to like a Pimlico plumbing level, like that kind of franchisiness of it. And yeah, dislikes I can't it is very niche. Very niche. Got to say that. Um, also, I still don't know how you get to like purchase this. Why is it going up? I, d I still don't understand how you buy this, because uh, the net worth of my company is now like over one thousand sixty. So I still don't really know how you buy the HQ. I'm gonna guess it's like all to do with like your renown. I can't see this and that your reputation points but I can't actually see that on a chart anywhere uh, hmm. yeah so that's, that's pretty much a letdown on that front but let's see edit company like there's nothing where do you check up on your renowned how do I see that there's what's not it's not completely clear. So that's probably the bad thing about it, but the great thing, the, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives in this game. Um, and also when you pound back off a wall for, with, the, with the hopper, that's that's quite comical. That's definitely the, the funny lols in the whole thing. Anyway, let's stop listening to me badgering on about you. And badgering on about, badgering on there. Oh, I've messed up my own tagline. One second. Anyway, that's enough of me badgering on... Uh, it is very late here in the UK, I'm going to say. We should just get a mowing. Because, you know, some people, they see me mowing and they be hating. And... Yeah, it's all cringeworthy puns from now on, people. Uh, yeah, so me and Jesse here, we've got... This is going to be the eighth in our series. Yes, eighth in our series. Me and Jesse have got this game down. And we're building our reputation. So we're going to go ahead. We've got a bit of money. And I'm going to try and unlock that HQ today. Oh, I can't. Why can't I afford that? Okay. And let's go for it. What are we going to do? Where haven't we been? Where have we not been in these couple of live streams? Hmm. We went to the paddock last time. That's literally number seven. So why don't we send Jesse just to see what he does with the same vehicle. And I, I want to get on birth for tonight. Actually, that sounds really bad phrasing. Um, I feel like doing once one that I haven't done before 
Was it, is it the orchard garden? I don't think I've done the orchard garden yet. I know it's not... That one would be, like, the number one in the thing, but we've already seen that, so we don't want to do that. We'll send Jesse on that next time. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take Bertha with me. And let's a go! Wrong franchise. Completely wrong franchise there. Let's go mow! Let's mow! That's the one. Ah... Uh, So here we are at Orchard Cottage. Just gonna check. Just checking for music, because I don't want to get dinged for copyright. No, it's all just sound effects. Wonderful. So I'm not gonna be playing music, so if you want to put on your own radio uh, station, because obviously if you've watched the whole of the live streams, sorry, if you watched all of the, of the videos in the past, like, day now you would have seen that i've literally sat here making up radio station after radio station and putting all those voices they're all me with little tweaks to like the pitch the tone the adjustment and speed so yeah that's a, a little so now you're gonna go back if you go back and like listen to it again you're gonna be like no yep yep i couldn't get outside help no one would send me a voice note with their radio station idea <laughs> The two people I asked denied me. Anyway, right, let's get on with this. This is the garden in Orchard Cottage. And it's a 99.5% cut rate. It is a cut height of 5.5 .5 to 6.5 centimeters. Ground tick time is five minutes. Cutting limit is 33 minutes. Let's move. Oh god, please tell me your your lawn mowing puns. I really need to hear them. I feel like Is it bad when you come up with dad jokes and you're not a dad? I mean is that allowed? Is that legal? There's one. Two three oh Yeah, but there she is. Wonderful. Also, I didn't really know because of like when you produce something on mass and you just let like lease it out into the world. That sounds really loud. Like it's competing with me. Hold on. Can't have you guys listening to like a really loud lawnmower. That's just not on. Right, there we go, we're all good. There we go, perfect. So you can keep your music on in the background now. See, right, another thing that annoys me about this game is when you turn on the blade, the joystick rumbles. And then it no longer rumbles. Oh dear, I even read it. I even read it out on camera. How am I cutting at the wrong height, dude? Ah, oh, there's a flower gone. Okay, right, we're gonna get, because we're not speeding this up, let's go through it sensibly. I don't know what I'm feeling. It's been a good day at work and Feeling just having a bit of a chill, really. Oh, no. um, wonderful. I feel like this is one of those games where people are going to type into YouTube, like, how do I do this certain type of mowing? And how do I do this? There's definitely going to be a BuzzFeed on this. Like, you know, lawnmower expert plays the simulator version. Ah, oh, damn it.
You know what I should have done? I should have learned how to put a radio station on this. While streaming, I don't, I'm not sure how you actually do that. That would be a good, good challenge there. Okay, Zamboni method. Let's have a look around. Let's start from this end because it curls around like an L. So we're going to come down here for it. So we should come and save that for later. Right, let's go, let's do this. The unconventional Zamboni method that I made up entirely of my own accord. And now we're on the outside. So the grass on this level is rather thin. And it seems like it's going to be a nice, jolly, good ride. Phrasing. Um, Oh my god, that is really badly spelt. Sorry, I panic typed that. One second, can I edit that comment? Hold on. Sorry, someone's just someone's just texted saying that's not correct. So let's fix it. Uh, tell me your very best lawn mowing puns slash jokes. There we go. There we go, that should be better. And we're back on the road. So uh, obviously this is a bit of a spoiler if you haven't got the, the end of this, the end of the series yet, but I, next month, will be actually riding one of these lawn mowers and it's going to be excellent, I think. It's going to be f awesome. Sorry, I can't swear. And we're even doing this. Oh, we're even doing my technique wrong. This is what happens after a long day at work. You're just like, ugh. There we go. I'm just going to try and even this out a little bit. No, we're going too fast. We're getting too cocky with it. Getting way too cocky with it. Right. And so... Let's fix what we've done. Yeah. 
Here we go. I wonder if there's going to be like a master of lawns. Like, could you imagine? It's not going to happen. It really isn't going to happen that... Oh, I've messed up again. Oh, damn it. Okay, right. Come on, let's concentrate, focus. And think. See, we went to bed quite late last night to get out all the content. So tonight I will be having a nice chilled early... Not an early evening, but you know... Just a nice, stress-free one. Just having a bit of chill at the end of the day, and this is the perfect game for it. 100, like... Ah, get in! The boys are in! What on earth are you doing in Spain? I... Uh, did they open up the the thingamabob? The uh, the border? No, well, not the border, is it? The the pond? Because I know we closed that. That was closed for um, like everyone going everywhere at one point. And also, how's travelling been? Like I have not left the UK in such a long time. And good evening, old rocker, how are you doing? <laughs> Surprise, nice to have you over here. Do you speak Spanish? Actually, I guess from the top there, I guess you, you you can at least write it because I know that that is a thing that Spaniards do. And you distracted me from cutting the grass. Damn it! Um, oh, where are you off to? Where's the final destination? No, I mean, I don't mean that in the, the film sense, but like, where are you, like, <laughs> where are you planning to head, end up? Like, Is it like a quest? Or is it just fact finding and research? And what are you looking for? Is it in the UK? Because I know where the Knights Templar is in the UK. I know where that is. I've been there, Temple. They have a quite fascinating history where they have to shut the door once a year to keep it public, uh, private property. Nice. I don't think I left the house this way weekend, old rocker. I was just chilling, playing this, and just having a good old time, just relaxing in between contracts. Okay, interesting. I'm getting more and more pulled into this now. Okay, no, okay, hold on. Nothing in the UK, okay. okay. Hmm. Intriguing. I can't I can't think of what that could or could not be. It's 
So as my uh, my two favourite regulars, what do you feel about this game? Is it a good game, do you think? Is it good just to chillax and just talk and shoot the breeze? Let's see if I can practice my pigeon Spanish. Hola, como esta? See, the one problem about being English is the school system is so terrible at teaching foreign language uh, that it puts you behind. And then when you become an adult, because there's like 35 different languages here on the continent ranging from you know Latvian to Spanish to it's just uh, like even like Hungarian is just so out there as a language like people have studied that for decades like my friend who's like trying to learn it for probably the best of five years because he's married to a Hungarian and he still can't get it I say, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't serve. Does any game serve a purpose? Yeah, actually, RPGs promote role play and moral choices. Action RPGs help you strengthen your um, teamwork and abilities and your what's it called hand-eye coordination, reaction times, and things like that. But yeah, no, I just, I just, I will be absolutely disheartened tomorrow. I really will be disheartened tomorrow if I wake up and I find that Lawn and Order here. Have you seen the t-shirt? Have you seen the t-shirt? Have you seen the gloriousness? I should probably put that on pause. Look at that. Let's wide take out. Hold on. Let me uh, do some TV magic. Did that work? I think that worked. Yes, it worked. Get in. I'm a little bit delayed for some strange reason, but look, Lawn and Order. It's a brilliant, brilliant t shirt. Right. Just while I'm, just while I'm on pause, let's catch up. Okay, right, let's get back on with it. Yeah, um, yeah, the, what, so, what, hold on, so if that's too disorientating, then how about this kind of angle? Is this better, third, far back third person, like some weird freaky drone following you around? I think in the future our kids are going to have like drones just following them around taking pictures for their social media. Where back in the day it was all about just going to the charity shop, buying some dirty rags, 
listening to Nirvana. Oh, welcome back to the old timey hour. Or the back in the day. <gasps> That'd be a good radio station. Yeah, but would I spy on you from above or below? Surely it would be below as a badger, right? Or maybe from the sky, because you would never think a badger would follow you in the sky. No, 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 this is just some random random t-shirt. I, I, I don't have any merch. I am not... If I, if I got merch, I think I'd probably just have to buy two t-shirts. Or maybe three, one for my mum as well. <laughs> that would be the, all the people that would need to buy them. That would be 100% sales, complete. Uh, but no, I just I just saw it on Amazon and I was like, I've got to get it. Just, just for the sheer lulls on the live stream and the socials. And you got to go all out. When it's your first time having early access, you got to go all out for it. Uh, hold on, hold on. If I do it this way, then I can kind of see what's going on on the screen in real time because if I look at the one on the right oh damn it if I look at the one on the right and try and read the comments it goes wrong uh, slightly better I think they do get bigger. They get like massive in this game, like thirty-one thousand pounds worth of trower. No, uh, not trower. Um, mower. Oh god, this is all going appallingly. <sighs> what I love is when people look over my shoulder, and you ca you can't do the simplest of tasks when people do that. It's like, I love that meme, it's like some guy, when I do things on my own, he gets going like a cruise ship down the Panama Canal at like the thinnest point, and he's just like, when someone watches me and like, do the basic sort of task, and it's that massive cargo ship that's blocked the Suez Canal, and it's like, yep, I know how that feels. But you generally get used to it after a while. Oh. oh no, these uh, these earmuffs these aren't actually earmuffs. I don't know if you can you can see, but it says silent disco. Hold on. Where are they? Ah. Need to win money, so one second. But yeah, look, hold on. Silentdisco.com. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, I can't work out the camera angle, hold on. There you go, perfect. So, um... Uh, so these were, I'm going to say, uh, acquired back in the noughties. And we managed to get it out of Reading Festival, because that was where I first went to a silent disco was at Reading Festival, and we managed to somehow get a pair of these headphones out. They, they don't work, they've run out of battery, and there's nothing playing on them, but I, I still have the pair to this day, 17-something years later or something. Oh, God. Ah... Uh. It feels like only yesterday that happened. The shenanigans that went on at Reading Festival. Bonfires. 
and everything. I keep I keep going on about it like it's my heyday, right? We're not we're not going to do that. We're going to focus on the fact that I've been invited to go and play on a real one of these, which is going to be good. Uh, we're going to focus on there's many many more things that we can do in life going forth, even at like an elder, more experienced age. That's the thing though with COVID about like what can you do nowadays? Like can't play it. Can't Ooh, did we just mess up the blade? Yes we did. Like Yeah, no, I couldn't actually find my actual ear defenders. They are here somewhere, they're just... You know when you have a big old tidy up and you can't find things again? And then ten years later you find it and you're like, Oh, I needed those! Okay, so I think this is the more professional way to do it. The stopping back and forth thing. Here we go. And so how long are you over here on this religious journey? Is it like a big old pilgrimage? It's the Vatican, no, the Vatican's in Italy. Still trying to work out what religion it is. Probably gonna be like, you know, right onto the other side. How much have we done? Eighty three percent. Come on, we can do this. How was the quality of the videos? I've got to ask, I've got to be a bit selfish here and ask for some feedback. Because it was a brand new way of doing it, whereas in uh, DaVinci Resolve, and I was uploading straight to YouTube, and YouTube does this really annoying thing of when you play back your footage, it looks blurry and awful and everything, but it says HD available, so you're like, right. Is that what's qualified as HD? I need to put a chat bar on the screen, that's why I've, I've realised for these jobs. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Oh, yes. No, you are right. 100. That is a good point. I didn't I didn't think about that. That must be annoying all of you. Wow. Thanks for the feedback there. You got that one. Hit that one on the head. Yes, that is much better. And maybe if I can improve my own face, that would also do a world of good. <laughs> Um, oh, damn it. See, because, like, it's just so annoying, because I was recording in, like, the ultra quality mode, and it was coming out, like, a hundred gigs. And you were like, what? 
and then it would take like all day. When I had those tech problems last week, it was because I was uploading content, and it was still uploading during the stream, and the, the, the stream just couldn't handle it. So it was just like, nope. But hey, so it's all in the past now. We gotta, we gotta figure out a way. We gotta figure out round two of how to make better videos. Hmm. Back to the drawing board. Oh, wow. Okay, don't, don't tell. I'm going to go off, do some research now. And I will get back to you with an answer on Twitter. I think that sounds probably the best idea. So I've got you on Twitter, Andy. And I know your old hometown as well, so I'll probably correlate from data from that and therefore connect everything, connect all the dots PI Badger oh that'd be a sick series, PI Badger digging down into the truth clawing out the bad guy <laughs> yeah there's some good puns there I will give that Oh, we're finished, we're finished. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't do a bad job. We cannot do a bad job here. And... <laughs> just, just saw that. <laughs> just looked at it like, well, <laughs> okay. I've had such a long day. Ah, oh, you see, yeah, it's a bit, bit blurry. Right, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm gonna do some invest. I'm gonna do some sly investigations, because you know this grey blurriness issue. You're like, oh, it's winding me up. Maybe you, you only get like proper videos when you get like a thousand subscribers. So like, if you're watching this and liking this, hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. So we, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we could have earned four hundred and seventy-five pound from this job. We got away with a massive five hundred and seven pound eighty-four pence. And yes, let's roll with this. What credibility five rank? Oh. You can't see this on the stream, but there's like achievements down here. And yeah, like so Jesse has just brought in like loads of money. I swear the contract was more. So I think if you send your apprentice out, you get less money for sending your apprentice out, which makes sense. Okay, what, what what does all this mean? This is also another bugbear of Skyhook games. I mean, like, what, what does it mean? What do I what do I get at uh, level three? Can I get a better HQ now? No, I cannot get a better HQ. Like, what? That's just ridiculous. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, let's go for. Anyway, we can bolster our rep. Uh, 
is a lot of money. Or should we go buy a new lawnmower? I mean, we've got £5,000. What is it? Is it side discharger? So that it comes out the side here. That would be fairly cool. Um, should we upgrade Bertha? I do like the price difference in these beasts. It goes from like two, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, fifteen, and then twenty. <laughs> so it's like thirty thousands. So let's have a look here and go for. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do you actually have to save up for a new HQ? Like, it seems a bit ridiculous, but there's no obvious sign. There's nothing to, to tell you what or how to get up here. Like, how do I buy this house? How? How? Tell me. Tell me how, how, how. Playing this game for weeks now, and you still have not let me know how to acquire Whitehall House. <laughs> and, yeah, or any of these. Maybe I can't until the actual... Maybe this is like the beta beta version. Maybe you can only buy that when you've... When they purchase the game tomorrow, when the game comes out tomorrow, you can have the full thing and have all the stuffs. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Who knows? So let's try my little tattoo again. Whoa. Whoa, £3,000. That has got to be huge. General cut, wonderful. Send Jesse because we don't we don't want to deal with it. Uh, yep, take that one for us. And we are gonna do. Where haven't we been? That's not. What's the recommended cut time? Fifty one and a half minutes. I don't know if we want to be on stream for an hour. It's gonna be huge. Hmm. Oh no, I know that you and Andy, me, but I know that you follow me and Andy, bleh. I know that Andy follows me on Twitter and I was going to take, I was going to see, I was basically going to guess what the religion is and then Twitter you it, I think, in a DM. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like this seems to be cross streaming, so I'm, I'm just gonna let you boys do it. Just play nice. Uh, so we're gonna send Jesse off to that one. What's this one about? No, we've been to Milbert. We're going. Been to there. Been to there. It's gonna be this one, isn't it? How tall is the grass? Tall, certain sentences, much more quiet. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we can hack it. Let's let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's be a big boy and get our big boy trousers on. Although, actually, no. Let's buy another vehicle. Why not? Maybe. Oh, yeah, we can repair them.
I like my good. I like a good gif. I hope one day I become a gif. <laughs> God, there's so much out there that could incriminate me. If you were a gif, what gif would you want to be? There we go. Do we just YOLO this? And yeah, let's let's, let's yo YOLO this. Let's do it. We're gonna sell. I don't think I can get, have the heart to give it a Bertha. That's the only problem. How do we? You can't even test drive it. Oh, so I can test drive that one, but I can't test drive that one. Yeah, let's go for a test drive. Let's just see if it's worth it. See if Big Bertha's bigger sister is worth it. It looks like it looks bigger. I'm not gonna lie. It looks more of a man thing. We've got s almost three thousand RPM here. Fuah, look at this thing go! Oh my life! Actually, yeah, I love that. So as you can see, the grass is coming in, and it's just being spat out there. Look at that thing go. Oh, you boys. I'm starting to build a community. I like in this. It's really nice, really good. Yeah, this is really good. I really like this one. This is like full throttle. No, that was almost full throttle down. Oh, because we're going uphill. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna replace Bertha. I've decided. Let's part exchange Bertha. It's been a pleasure. I will see you on the other side. Wait, what, what are we actually exchanging here? We we're gonna get a bigger deck size. I'm gonna be very careful how I say that. Uh, it's a side. Deck type is a collector here and a side discharger there, which is wonderful. Uh, drive system is rear wheel drive. Both of them are rear wheel drive. Double the double the fuel tank so it can go longer. And top speed is a little bit faster. Okay, and then what have we got here? We got 120 meter blade. I wonder if we could part exchange both of them. Oh, seven. Let's do it. Let's get. Let's go. You know what, Bertha? You live another day. Okay, we're gonna change the night. We didn't really like the night anyway, so let's part exchange that for that. Okay, see if we can part exchange Bertha. Ah, <gasps> we can. We can. Upgrade our fleet. Ha ha ha. Yes. Unstoppable now. Right. I'm getting far too involved now. This is far too exciting now. Right. So. Um, let's reorganize this. So we're going to send Jesse with bigger Bertha. And. We are going to do. Oh, 
requires collector slash mulcher. They're both side hoppers. No, damn it. Pants. Messed that one up. Diego and my face are royally in alignment. You know what, we'll just do a different contract. How about that? Also, what's our thing doing? Let's get one of those going. Right, I'm going to stop flicking around with the menu and crack on with this with the most overpowered thing on the planet. Right, Jesse's on the three thousand pound one. I freaking love sci-fi. Uh, the Expanse is my new modern day fav favorite. Um, Black Mirror, I don't know, is that kind of sci-fi? It's not really sci-fi, but it is like kind of futuristic. Oh, you did warn me, Andy, you did. But I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be slightly controversial and say my top rated space sci-fi thing is the 100. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's Battlestar Galactica all the way. Love that series. Don't <laughs> subscribe. Okay, right, let's try this. This is a weird looking beast. <laughs> this is a very weird looking beast here we got going on and we are completely damaging the braids by uh, Dragging them over the lawn. Also, we need to engage the deck. What do we need to bring it down to? Cool. And we're away. Whoa. This got a little bit haywire. She, she is way too overpowered for this. All oh, my life. This is going to get done really, really fast. Look at this. So right, the side dinghy, why, why would you want that? The mulcher I get, but like... Just... Oh, oh dear. Okay, so you have to be careful about what... Okay, so we have to be careful about which way around we go now. We can only go one way one way around the whole thing, otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. Right, lesson learned. I feel like it's like some kind of like evil supervillain buggy machine for cutting grass. I oh know, but then we're gonna spray it in the flower bed and we don't want that. So let's go around the flower bed like that and then push out over here let's go back around here come forth uh, I don't know if you checked it out today but I did make it onto the Skyhooks Instagram story hell yeah and oh it's the the remake the 2003 ish but I also do like the original don't get me wrong and I do like all the outrage when it's like, oh, so and so's being played by a woman. It's like, and she's a kick ass woman. Like, you also haven't seen the show. Like, she did an amazing job. Who was my favourite character in that though? Uh, Cox. 
Oh, this thing is just demolishing this. And some plants along the way. This is actually really, really fun now. This is more fun doing it with just this. Beep, beep. Yeah, way more fun now. With an overpowered lawnmower. Christ, this thing is like the panzer tank of lawnmowers. Just mows down anything in its path, quite literally. And the puns are coming out, the puns are coming out. I need to check the sci fi chat. Hold on. I feel like we're just spitting it out to then just suck it all back up again. Phrasing pool. Oh no, the flower bed. Oh. We have to clean them up before we leave. Can we not just get our apprentice boy back? Jesse! I know you've just finished 3,000 pounds worth of lawn mowing, but I need you to come back here and clean up some... Oh my god, this is actually destroying the flowers. The flowers, the, uh, the garden. Yes, this is actually amazing. Okay, now I see the game's value. It gets much better as the lawn mowers get much more powerful. Like you can actually hold a straight line on this one and actually put in some proper patterns. Hold on boys, hold on, let me just smash this out so we get ultimate game bonus. And then I'll be there in the chat, I can see it going off in the corner of my eye. Down, 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 down. Yes. Yes, this is the best lawnmower I've had yet. Well worth the money. Bertha who? Don't worry, with the upgrade money, and I'm pretty sure with the re renowns that we just spent on social media, we should hopefully be able to get a different lawnmower, even more powerful lawnmower than Panzer lawnmower. Don't know why I've become like e evil bad guy. I think it's because this machine just reminds me of like a James Bond villain. Look at this. God, this is actually okay. That's causing uh, irritation. Oh my god, this is actually my favorite, favorite one now. Oh yes. One second. This is brilliant. This is worth missing. I'll tell you what, this this is a recommendation and a half. This is worth missing Rick and Morty for playing about on this newfangled lawnmower. And also, I'm kind of interested, I'm not going to lie, 
I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens with the early game release at midnight. Does it disappear? Does it vanquish? Do I get an email? Do I get invited to some kind of promo day? Nope. Probably not that one. But yeah, look, eight minutes. Eight minutes, the whole garden. I think uh, that's, that's definitely a PB. Quality check. Oh wait, we have to go clear up those. I can never remember how to get off this thing. How do you disengage? Disengage. Okay, we're not going to bother because I think this is a massive, massive win for the Bond machine, for the Bond villain machine. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, just just catching up on the chat. So yeah, that that is an amazing little lawn mower there. What did we get? We got like oh, we didn't even get that much. Ground check failed. Oh yeah, we've got to do a ground check. Whoops. Uh, big big cutting time bet bonus. Right. What did my friend get? He brought he yeah. You see, it's a lot less money when you send your apprentice. There we go. Can we have a new HQ? Okay, so we brought all home all that bacon. Um, yeah, because they, they were meant to land in like 2008 or something. Uh, I can't remember. Like From the original series, they were meant to land in the noughties, and they never did. And what's really fascinating is I'm, I'm re-watching The Island, which is on Netflix, and how badly wrong they got the future like it because their present day is like 2019 and it is some of it's very far off some of it is kind of realistic Okay, hold on. Is it actually getting jumpy? Hold on. Let's see if I can... Can't change the output. No, can't change the output. Hmm. What do I do? Do I come out and then come back in? I'm not sure. Hmm. So let's have a look. Let's do the same ploy again. We'll send Jesse on the big contract. No, nope, requires a mulcher. Can't do that. How would that be a problem? It's got too much of a deck width. Like, ha there's never been a time where having too much deck width has ever been a problem. I just don't see that ever being a problem. I've never said, hey, you know what I, what I need n is a bit less deck width. Like, that's just ridiculous. Ah, oh, we didn't even repair it or change the blades. Ah, oh, what a fool. No, I don't want to change the cutting blade. Oh, maybe if I go slower. The thing is, I don't want to cut off the stream. I have to start again. 
<sighs> so you know when you learn one skill, then you go to another skill. Like, so recording, learned a load about recording this week. And now I feel like I need to go to another school called Streaming School and pick up some tips from that. Hold on, let's see if I can... So I can't end the stream. So what if I turn down the pixelation and grass, grass distance? Normal. Motion blur. So good quality level. I think that might might help. Maybe if I produce a smaller amount of pixels for the stream to pick up. Let me see, this is why I need to go to streaming school. Has that helped? Oh, that's also another thing. I've got a bigger monitor, so that it was... <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> Boom, freezing. Oh, I keep saying... Sorry, it's been a long day. Marathon training in the morning, and then off to the first day of work. And here we go. Big Bertha, first big job on Big Bertha. Very exciting times. Right, check. Six to five. One of. Uh, I'm actually well excited about going on a ride on lawnmower. I even like asked her to take a picture of it. How has that done for the stream quality? So I think I might actually sack off the bigger screen resolution and size and just stick to 19 by 20 180p. Yeah, get me, I've got to go all the lingo down. Yep, loving this. You know that feeling in a game you get where you go like a shooting game and you find the first levels kind of hard, but they're okay. And you've got a good, like, average solid weapon. And then you come back later on to Noobville with your hyped up, souped up, ultra amazing gun. Yeah, this is what that feels like. Like, just going around Startville, mullering all the starter characters. Oh. Yes, I'm getting this streaming stuff down. I'm getting it, I'm getting the lingo. I wonder what the advantage is, is that the advantage of a side spitter that it just it doesn't require as much. I guess because like if you think about it like from basic physics, like just just not not going too in depth with it when I mean that, but like if it's not churning it up into a fine mulch then I guess that's less engine power being dedicated to chopping where it could be so you two sci-fi peoples what on earth do you feel about this whole Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and what's that guy called Brad Branson yeah all trying to get to space do you think they know something we don't, or like I just I just feel like I mean number one, Jeff Bezos' ship should be called the overcompensation, <laughs> like overcompensating. That thing really did look like something out of Austin Powers. Like my God. I mean I know you, you I know after a divorce, right? You 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 go a bit nuts and you buy a fancy car or you go and join a commune or you know you could do something wild but you go make a phallic spacecraft the most phallic spacecraft that has ever existed for a ride that lasts under 10 minutes like 
it's it's just it's just too comical and just you don't even have to make a joke you just have to spell out the facts for it and the fact that it's just slightly just tipped itself into space just the tip went into space that was it oh man I'm looking forward to the day they build a space lift where you don't need a rocket, you just go up in a lift like that. That would be me right there. Luxury meal, like just get a meal, have a few drinks at the bar, like two and a half hours later, you're in space. That would be cool. None of this thrust up stuff. Oh, is that the Sonic Boom ones? Just... What is it? Like, what happened to Coco? It was a few... Uh, a few burst tires, wasn't it? It was Air France that took it down in the end. And the fact that no one really wanted to pay so much money to get to New York in like three hours. Where nowadays, I guess everyone would. I guess there would be an appetite for that nowadays. Because also, you got to think there would be a barrier to entry. If you jacked up the price, there's going to be a barrier to entry. So your average family aren't going to be on that flight. So. <laughs> I do like the meme that uh, someone posted on my on my wall <laughs> on sorry on my feed of uh my gra my my dad my granddad watched the first man land on the moon and today i watched the guy that killed all the bookstores go into space wow what a time okay so we are okay i'm i'm getting a bit too cocky with this, hold on. This is really fun. I like this one. I like both of them. To be fair, I do do like them both. This is a very good lawnmower. There, that's true. I can see that. Why? There's like a stubborn bit of grass around here somewhere that just likes to clog up my motor. How are we doing? Oh my god, this is like... Uh, does anyone remember Grand Theft Auto 1? This is the angle you want to play the, the game at now. This is like a 90s... I mean, obviously, I didn't have Grand Theft Auto 1 back in the day because I would have been about 14, but... I may have played the game Grand Theft Auto 1 back in the day because yeah it was a great game <laughs> I 
can't believe like GTA started out in Scotland. That is the weirdest thing. When you think about it, it was a bunch of Scottish people. Well, not all of, not all of them were Scottish, but the company was Scottish, making a game about America. And it was all from this angle. There we go, we'll make course. This seems hella fun. I would love to do this in real life, actually. 100, just go around. I'm actually thinking about applying for a council like spot just going around what what inspired you to be here today well i played this game called lawnmower simulator and i really want to lawn or ride around on lawnmowers <laughs> but i don't want to do it because i can't afford afford it but i hear you guys have lots of lawnmowers that i can borrow oh yes look at this you can even make an eye pattern this game is great, honestly, I love it. I just find it finds new ways to amuse me. Oh my god, there's actually better quality at lower pixels. That makes completely no sense. Well, it does actually, because it's like far less pixels going on, so therefore there's lots less data being like issued. If that makes any sense. Ah, oh. that's how you know you're a nerd when you care about things that no one else cares about. That's a nerd. What's the uh, definition of a geek? Is someone who is is that super, super nerdy? No, because... No, I don't know. What, what is the difference between a geek and a nerd? I know there is a difference. Roughly. I think nerd cares something that no one really cares about at all. And geek is just fascinated by... No, because that's kind of the same definition. I don't know. feel like that would be a five minute Google search when I come off the stream. Or is it um, sim like, uh, semantics? That's the word. There's a ten dollar word for you. This thing is super powerful. Love it. This is way more fun. I actually can't wait to go get the, the you know the big ass lawnmowers. I just come back to Startsville with a massive lawnmower. Okay, let's try. Let's try and do this. I'm trying to figure out where the blade is. Okay, you're ready to get motion sickness. If you are, if you do suffer from motion sickness, I do advise you look away any moment now. We're going into a G-spin. Oh. oh, should we cover these people's furniture and grass? Yep, let's do it. Just for the lols. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to. Definitely should have gone anti clockwise on that one. Right. Oh, let's pull out of this. Let's pull out of this big man. Let's go. Uh oh, destroyed a fl plant. Ugh. Right, let's go the right way. Let's do it properly this time. You 
Good night, Andy. Have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to this side of the pond. And good luck in your your learning fact finding mission. I'm very intrigued. I'm gonna I'm gonna be reading your tweets later. And yeah, thank you very much for joining me. And then hanging out tonight. Oh, GTA, it came out in the 90s. Um, uh, it was like, the original GTA was on the PlayStation 1. And um, everyone was like little bobble people. And it was all shot from the sky downwards. Right, can you tell us when we spoke about the chosen path yes that is it okay that is it that's what I was trying to go for I just couldn't get the words out thank you so much old rocker you absolutely helped me out there Let's go this way. Just for fun. I wonder how many play people oh dear. I wonder how many people who played this actually played it properly or just see now why would you want a side why would you want a side thing that just shoots the grass out to the side? I still don't understand this. A mulcher I get because it spits out evenly, but this thing is freaking hilarious. Still, see that this brings up more questions. Like, why does this exist? Because I've seen this in real life, with the with the side thing, with the council thing coming round. But why would you want it in your own backyard? Apart from to occasionally spray grass on your furniture. Here we go. You see, there is a great documentary on the B. Well, it was on the BBC, but it's on YouTube now, and it's like the Quakers of like the olden days. You know, John Cadbury and Penny. Is it Pennyworth? I think he was a big time grocer. He's probably about the. He's he was as big as Tesco's were today back in the Victorian era. You probably haven't heard of him because he gave all his money away on his deathbed. Like loads of them did. I think it's the Pennyworth Housing Estate Project. I just think, you know, Bezos and Musk. Actually, I don't even. No, Musk is just. No, I don't like Musk. I don't rate him. Don't rate him. I think he's an idiot. Overhyped idiot. His brother is more successful and keeps well out of the limelight. But, you know, I just feel, you know, he shouldn't. If he did what he did on the stock market, he would be, to, to what he did with, like, uh, digital currencies and just completely tank the market, pump and dump it. 
he would be slapped in irons and done for stock manipulation and everything. But obviously it's not regulated and everything like that. So he can do whatever he wants. Like, I'm not sure at this point if he, if he truly is a genius or if he is the Joker when the Joker talks about the dog running after the car. Like, what does he do when he got the car? Is it like, is, is this a man? Is this a man dog that's finally caught up with the car and now has no idea what to do? But just to go along with it and try and figure out what. Why are they leaving like patches? Okay. I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, so like when they say like the NHS needs like three billion and what Branson's got bundles and they've all got bundles and they could they could easily just they could easily just fund the NHS by lunchtime like the whole thing the whole nine yards and yet they don't do it and they're all like no no we've got to keep our generational wealth for the next generation it's like great but like there's like everyday suffering going on Okay, I've got to look up how a side thing like this works. There we go, we're going to run. There we go, we're not even going to worry about this. Let's run, bring in the monies, bring in the monies. That's all we want, we want the monies. Not the quality anymore, we want the monies. I'm actually tempted to stay up till midnight, two hours to go. Longest stream ever. No, actually, no, I've done six hours before. So there we go. Okay, it's gone up. Come on. Let me have my little HQ. Right, it's Friday. So it's Friday in the game, and I can't work out when, because you see in the top right hand corner, I can't work out when the end of week profit and loss comes out, because, you know, fairly interested in that. I know this one. Let's go take <laughs> the bad boy Bond villain car to that one. And let's send... Oh no, can we... Uh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting it all out of whack here. One of these two vehicles needs to go. Fortunately, I think... I think the Bond vehicle did a much better job. Let's see if we can part exchange it. When do we get this? When do I get this one? When does this one come out? What is this? A mulcher? Please tell me it's a mulcher. Side discharger. Why are they all side... Ah, side discharger, side discharger, side discharger, rear discharger, mulcher. So we're going to have to save up a lot of money to get that one. But then we could be tricked out with all Stigger gear, which would be cool to have one brand of mower so we could sew our alignment in to that so let's have a look Wh where can we send Jesse let's go thing is we can't even take on a new employee because that requires another bay so that is the thing. Right. Just check on the old stream quality. It's going well. Let's play the game. This is how it's a good test to, of your stream is to play the game through the stream instead of like through the stream screen so you know what's going on. You can see this. I can see from here there's four out of five objects left standing already been around there so it's probably down here somewhere 
There we go. Perfect. What is the target time? 35 minutes target time. We are going to smash that. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Would help if I uh, dropped the thingy more bulb. Right, so I don't... Hmm, how do we do this nice and cleanly then? I guess... You would go around the outside like we're doing. And kicking all of it into the middle. Then spin this round like this. spin it back on itself and go the opposite direction so therefore oh my lord this is actually no I want to keep this this is brilliant this, this is my favourite one by far could you just keep churning it around like is that the best pattern now we can't go through there because all that bit mush go out old rocker what do you think of black mirror this is like my favorite show of all okay there's been some not good seasons but like majority of them have been groundbreaking tv although i do feel in a couple of years we're going to look back on Black Mirror and it's going to be like the last of the summer wine. Oh my god, this thing is absolutely destroying it. It is destroying this grass here. See, now if we come around like that, that's just going to throw grass onto our nice clean bit of grass. I guess that's the point in one of these. And hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <gasps> Heresy. Harris, how have you how have you not seen Black Mirror? Um Okay, 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 okay. Oof, oof. Oh dear. Uh, like, it's amazing. I mean, I watched it when it was on Channel 4 and then it got moved over to Netflix because they wanted to buy the Bake Off and I was like, what a lame thing to buy. Bake Off compared to Black Mirror? Are you are you kidding? They couldn't even get everyone over from Bake Off. They couldn't afford them all. Or some of them didn't. She didn't want to move, did she? Uh, whatever her face is, Mary Berry. They just they ended up with like the worst cast member. And then they brought in Noel Fielding for some reason. Anyway, anyway. But yeah, Black Mirror is brilliant. Love it. It's absolutely wonderful. It's absolutely such good stuff. It is unbelievable. Like the, there's, it's just so. Some of them are so, like. So the basic premise is, is like. So the guy who writes it is called Charlie Brooker, and he is. He just basically, has a look at like a phone and says like, this is a black mirror because so you can see my ring light, there. And he just delves into like what could go wrong with technology, and it is dark where he comes up with, and the, it's just the twists that are essentially just like shocking. Um, avoid the first one if you can, 
The very first one is disgusting and awful. Come back to it. Uh, 15 million merahertz is probably a good one to start on on season one. But if you're into your sci-fi and you want a bit of a laugh, I think it's the USS Cutler in like a later series. There's one about a spaceship kind of game reality thing and it's it is honestly genius. Like there are so many sci like sci-fi references and stuff and the whole thing is shot like the the first half is shot like a 1970s um like Star Trek, and then uh, goes to more like a J.J. Abrahams type Star Trek, which is just uh, it's just those little subtleties that make the whole thing brilliant. This is cutting through the grass like butter, like no joke of a lie. This is just amazing to feel and watch. You know what were we what were we doing with Bertha? We were probably averaging around about one point something miles an hour, and now we're going around doing at least three. <gasps> you search for it now, Black Mirror. Although, uh, as long as you're uh, okay with like. Um, because it can get a bit, it can get really dark. I will warn you, it it gets dark. Like the, not the, uh, not it's not graphically dark, but it's just mentally dark. Like some of the stuff that's brought up in that show. Like, um, kind of it just makes you think. It's that it's that type of show, and it's the type of show where not all of them have a happy ending as well <laughs> and you're more left with more questions which is brilliant and you you often I've often been down the pub with mates just discussing like the ending to it being like I agree with that or I don't agree with that or just like oh my god I thought that would be such a cool idea like that this application would be great and then it got ruined Okay, so the grass has got thicker. And... In this area, oh no. I'm also wondering about like, streaming in different times because Right now, everyone in the UK is going to bed, but everyone in the States is up. And I don't know what time periods around the world other places are in. I guess it's got to be like morning in Australia, in like Australia, right? Or maybe afternoon? No, it's got to be like afternoon, evening. I don't know. I'm not well traveled. Um, what is my favourite one? My favourite one of all time is season one. I think it's episode three with the memory chip. Yeah, that's because it, it's always. I always thought that would be a, like the greatest invention. Like, I would, I would, I would want that. You would never lose your keys. Or, or anything, or like, you you would know, oh, it would just be brilliant. And then suddenly at the end of the episode, I was like, no, it really wouldn't be. And I'm going to stop talking in riddles now, because that, yeah, so it's episode one, no, sorry, season one, number three, it will get you into it. But if you're into your sci-fi geekiness, go straight for the USS something or other. USS Callist 
uh, I'm gonna say. Because that's got the dude from Breaking Bad in it. But anyway, we're gonna move swiftly off this topic and go, yeah. How have we got some? How have we not got some more complex stuff? This is what I'm not understanding. Am I doing something wrong? Am I, am I selecting the wrong missions? Like, what is going on here? Oh, oh dear. Hold on, gotta text the missus goodnight. While driving, texting while driving, this is bad. Ooh. Let me know if I'm gonna bang into anything. Oh, crap. Yeah, this machine is Windtown. I feel like we had a nice pattern going on and then this is amazing. Yes, this is built for speed. I understand what this is built for now. Just absolute devastation not quality but quantity of grass I mean just look at the devastations left behind just absolutely slaughters it look at that And here we go. Okay, so hardly going to build a big Australian following unless there are like people watching this at like 6 30 in the morning there. Which would be like, you got to call into question what type of man from Australia you're pulling in at 6.30 in the morning. Watching streams of lawnmower people. Oh my god, this is brilliant. This is actually, this is actually really fun. No joking, this, this game, it sounds ridiculous. But now it just got fun. It's got ultimate fun now. Hell yeah to this vehicle. This is a brilliant vehicle. I was trying to save money and everything. I didn't go for it. I was trying to build up for the HQ. I should have got should have got this bad boy. Look at this thing. 
well, like 30 something minutes to do this whole lawn, apparently 35 minutes. Smashed it in 16 ish, or at least 20. So, we're gonna get a big bonus on that time front, maybe not on the quality front. Maybe that's what's uh, quite annoying about this machine, is that it's fast, it cuts a load, but it doesn't really do a good job of the quality. Or maybe I'm just pushing it to its limits. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to get copyright strike in a sec if I carry on. And Yeah, no, this is absolutely brilliant. Actually, no, I won't, because I've got a big day tomorrow, so that's probably why I won't stay up. But I will keep you informed about if I've had to play another 25 pound. I wonder if you get early access, does that mean you don't have to pay the game? That that is that is why I want I want to know. Like this game is ridiculously it is fun. I mean I don't I mean, yeah, you can't see the it, it, it's not like Warzone where it's like, you know, there is a winner in the middle and the m one in the middle is the most manly of men like type thing. Or you know, it's not like Among Us where you're all pointing fingers at each other. I would be so bad at Among Us. Like unbelievably bad. Like oh my lord. I, cause I just, I just cannot stand liars. So I would be there, like, yeah, guys, I'm the imposter. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> it would just, I don't know if it, I don't know if they'd just be like, is this a double bluff? Okay, boom. Okay. Well done, Jesse, bringing in the money. So, right, we made 4,000. Well, that is mega profit there. That is mega profit. Like, we paid off all the everything there. Right now, this is the most important bit. Where it flicks over to... Oh, I didn't say. Or I missed it. How much our net profit... Or how much our net thingy is. Uh, let's have a look. Where can we send our little friend? Oh, there's some big contracts. I feel we just went to the big leagues now. I'll have that one. The riding school we could do right to so the riding school. First of all, can I have Yes! We can have it! White Hall House. Get in. I don't know why. I can't understand why we're allowed this, but we are allowed this. 
and we're paying a measly 420 pound and 40 pence including solicitor fees moving fees insurance fees everything bargain oh we just moved oh no we just bought the unit next door that's what we did we bought the unit next door okay so we we bought that Oh, we paid 5000 for it. Okay, right. That makes sense. That means we've got an extra bay. Right? How many bays do we have? So it's 1500 to upgrade another bay. How many bays do we have? I'm very excited about this. Very excited about this. Oh yeah, we just moved up. Okay, so we didn't actually, so we sold that one and then we moved up into the next one down the way. Oh, it's gonna be really exciting when you get over here. Right, okay. I think we did that through the power of marketing and advertising. Uh. That one's really boring, so we're going to send Jesse to go do that with that one. And we're going to get on the James Bond machine. And... With that one. did say I had three bays available, but two of them, oh uh, no, I don't want to, I mean, I d I don't, wanna, don't get me wrong, I would pay for this game, 100%, hands down, but just don't want to lose all that effort, I think I'll throw a hissy fit, a tantrum, and I will probably not just be like, oh, just play it secretly and quietly. Sorry, just goes in there. To her. Perfect. Uh, let's get back at this game, 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 game. No, do not skip the ground check. Oh my god, what's happening here? Okay, so we've got two paddocks. Pick up the horse poop. Pick up more horse poop. Yeah, let's have a look around here. Well, we we'll miss Brick and Morty, so we may as well keep going. Do you, Do you like Rick and Morty? That's the question. Oh, my life. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Good, good, good. Go back to the vehicle. We're going to lose money. So go, 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 go. Oh, my Christ. This is a posh pad. Also, where on earth is the uh, the van? That I mean, the horse box there has its own Porsche to drag it around. But... We we don't have a thing. Actually, that's really rude if we go that way. Let's go this. It can turn 180 degrees. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, yes, I love this thing. This is brilliant. Yeah, 
This is brilliant. This is great. This feels good. I don't know why. There is some kind of like inner child satisfaction. What height? Seven centimeters. What's it for, like from the cockpit? Ah, oh, hell yes! Look at that! Look at this! Look at this! That is brilliant. Here we go. Just got a fish. Almost hit that fence. Oh dear, we really did not patch up the engine there, did we? Where do you reckon we needed to stop cutting? I'm going to say it right about there. Ooh. I wonder if we could do speed cutting. Yeah, this seems like an excellent idea. Here we go, speed cutting, speed cutting, speed cutting. Choo choo choo. We only use half the blade, so therefore we can go much faster. Because the engine's not being worn out as much. Yeah, there we go. This is how you do it. Constant speed, 7 miles an hour. That's faster than anything we've done before. Okay, we're cutting less grass per turn, but we're going much faster. This is speed mowing at its finest. Speed mowing, it's because this is going to be the new competition of the future. Speed mowing. Whoa. What is that about? How am I playing right now? Oh, I've got early access, that's what you mean. I've got early access to the game. So, yeah, it comes out in a few hours, basically. And I've had early access for the whole week. There's a whole playlist, Nova Fits. It's all, it's all down there in the, in, in the, in the YouTube playlist on my, on my channel. I've had access for over a week now. And it's actually a really fun game. I really recommend it, 100%. And oh, we are flooding our engine. So I contacted Skyhooks Games via their Instagram, and I wrote them a very lovely message that said, Hey, I really like the demo. Can I please, if you've got a spare access key uh, knocking around, I know I don't have the biggest channel or anything. Uh, I just wrote this very modest, humble letter saying, "Hey, like, you know, I didn't, I didn't brag. I didn't say, oh, oh yeah, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. I just wrote. It's just a very nice, lovely, sweet message." And they said, "Uh, he, yes, absolutely. Here, have a like a Steam key." Well, actually, they referred me to the PR people, 
I wrote them a lovely message, and then they gave me a Steam key. And that's how I have the game early. But yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Speed mowing. Are we actually going faster? That's the thing, oh. Oh no, we just hit something as well. Oh. Oh dear. And here we go. Round and round the tree. And whoop. Okay, yeah. No, I don't. Th I don't. Don't think speed mowing is working. To be fair, maybe it's. Maybe it was. Maybe it's not. Could speed mowing get into the Olympics? Speed mowing. Oh dear. Oh dear God. What's happened? Okay, yeah, look, we're going about two miles an hour when we try and do it properly. And it's causing problems. Or well, speed mowing, where you go, just take off the edge. No, also causing problems. Actually, if we go the other way, then we're knocking all the, all the grass outwards. And then we're not getting that caught up in the blade. See, that's what, that's what possibly could be wrong there. We're going to need to have to recover this vehicle, aren't we? Or it's going to blow up. That'll be a bad day for speed mowing. Oh dear. Right, so we're now going double the speed. No. You might be asked to retire from this. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Speed mowing is not going to be a thing. Where's the Rick and Morty cover? Wait, well, three bits available. Oh, jammed up the engine. Way too bad. It's like a rumble pack down here. And... <laughs> Pick a Rick! Yeah, love that episode. That's like one of my favorite episodes. I think we should just bin this. Just bin this effort. Speed. Speed mowing, not a thing. Speed, it just didn't, did not work. Quite clearly, failure. First day of failure for lawn and order. So we did not do a fine moment there. I'm going to have to take, going to take after big, big L for the team there. Uh, I should, shouldn't I, really? I mean, I did work all weekend to produce that content for them, but, you know, but then also, you know, it's got the other plus side. Yeah, no, the lawnmower is gone. Deaded. We've still got people trying to work for us, uh, but we need monies, and we need to repair our machine. Okay, so our things are not invincible. As we found out, so let's go back here. 
And I don't think that other chap is still on the stream. But if he is, have a look at my new HQ. Yeah. Windsor Garage is what we want to get up to. Uh, let's see. Can't do that one, can we? No, because it requires a mulch area or some other form of thingy magic. Hmm. Oh no, look at that. It is. So that's really thick grass. Right, so the thick grass, the thicker the grass, the harder the cut it's going to be. So this grass right here, that's quite large actually. They're all quite large. Quite testing times now. But you know what? We're going to go, we're going to go old school. We're going to go back to this and we're going to bring Big Bertha. What's the deck width? 108. Where wouldn't it not fit? Okay. Woo! That's it, but then I find like loads of people like watch the live stream later. Which is good. And let's send Jesse to clean up our horrible mess that we made. As we keep going, going, going. So we've got a new HQ and everything, which is brilliant. So this is the original level. This is the first level in the demo that comes. And, oh, no. What, what do we, what do I used to do? I think I did it the fastest I ever did this level. It's not the same, is it? Because the grass is thicker and it's harder. And that's three. Goddamn gnome! Where... Hmm. Here we go, we've got a hold X to go and throttle up. We're going down to six. is much more powerful. This is ridiculously much more powerful than this grass. So we're going to throw up a, an imaginary PB of 13 minutes. Why not? Let's see if we can beat 13 minutes. Throw up on the clock. Add three flowers. Let's see if we can beat that. Honestly, man, this game is really addictive. Especially now with these new toys. They're just are absolutely rinsing this. twice do you think because we're like zooming out it takes more graphical power and stuff that's why the stream's going down and getting a bit fuzzy every time it's a bit zoomed out this thing is just absolutely slicing through this like no one's business Two minutes in and 20% down, so that's good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn the blade, turn that off. Oh, we went around the, uh, the phallic shaped bed the wrong way. 
Here we go. Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. Oh no, we hit something. Okay, also I've realised, I think America is probably going to be the last market for this game, if we think about it. Because in Australia and stuff, it's already available to them today, now. Whether you're going to be playing it at 7 in the morning is another idea. Oh my god, that just threw me there for a second. Let's go, straight up. See, this is playing with fire now with this section on that side. So we're gonna flick over. We're gonna we're gonna think about our new approach for this garden. Oh, and we're gonna come around here. Right, and go straight on, because that's faster. Straight on. Ah, oh, no, these... Okay, these side things are great. But they're hella risky. Like, here, I don't know, I don't know how we're going to... Like, if I do this section with that side... Are we going to get a penalty if it goes in there? No, risked it for a chocolate biscuit and got away with it. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How are we doing? How are we doing? We are 5 minutes 60 something in. Oh no, we're not pushing it hard enough. Push it more, push it more. Push it more. Come on, it's not going to be the best job, but we just need to beat personal best. Time wise, otherwise, the whole point of spending all that money on a lawnmower that was slightly bigger is just not justified. You can do this, Big Bertha. Big Bertha, come on, bigger Bertha. That's what we're going to potentially call it. What was Bertha? It was a German, it wasn't a German railgun. Or a train gun, I think. Definitely had to be something big. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Probably to I lose interest or which at the moment is just I've just got a new toy. This this feels like I've just got a new toy. And it's just it's a spitty outy toy and it's brilliant. It's like it is Bertha 2.0. I mean I love it. It's brilliant. This this is this is great. Love it. I was this this is absolutely destroying this level. This is brilliant. Like, honestly, this is oh, so good right now. I feel like a child at Christmas. I'm not even, I'm not even joking.
Mate, if you need to get to bed, that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to continue to do the lawn. Eight minutes, 75% down. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, how is the side hopper going to cope with this bit? Yep, done. Ah. Whoops. That was a skill bit of driving, I've got to say. Come on, spin it around. Done. Oh, and we missed the path. Wonderful. Right, let's get these little bits. This is honestly like ridiculously fun. I think we're gonna smash a new PB. Which will be so fun. We didn't even try and we haven't planned. Well before the, my other ones were planned. I meticulously tried to actually make the best path where this I'm just beaming around go 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 oh done 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 yes get in right quality check and let's go quality check and let's go this is like Bertha 2.0 and it's definitely proved it today like that is amazing like honestly wow yeah I thought so like big artillery weapon three minutes shaved off personal best just using this how'd you get off the lawnmower Maybe we have to de-engage it. Uh, okay, can't work out how you get off the lawnmower. But yeah, that would do. So wonderful, absolutely smashed that one. Much faster time, lots more money, brilliant. He brought back a lot of money as well. So you can't just send off your trainee to do something. Let's train you up in something. Yeah, why not? That will bring more money and success to us. How much money have we got? 2,000, that's not much. Okay, what's this? And let's have a look in here. I don't know because I've only seen it in pounds and it is a Liverpool based uh, gaming company so I'm not sure if you, you I mean yeah that would make sense though wouldn't it but then but then that would be a hell of a lot more time resources and effort that you'd have to put into a game to then get your money back for that amount of money, if that makes any sense. Like, the more options you put into this, the more options, like, people are going to have to, uh, like, like, 
but obviously more people would relate to your product, but the more money you'd have to charge for it. So we're going to send Jesse off to do the most expensive one on that one. Why not? And we are going to do, we're not allowed to do that one. I don't think we've been here before. Can't remember it. Cries a mulcher, so we can't do it anyway. Because we stupidly sold ours. Okay, so we've got side splitter there. Boom. Take Bertha. Boom. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's absolutely smash it out. And. Oh, is, this, is it the same one as before? I don't know. It's, no, it's the opposite pen. They often do this in this game, like, there's a pen on the other side that we did before, tried to, and there's now this one, which is just literally on the opposite side, and it's all one field. So no, I, do, I don't think the, the uh, game is that in-depth, and there's many, many levels and things. I think there's less than 40 levels, I'm going to put it out there, and I think most of them are doubled. Like this one. Ground check complete. Let's run, 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 run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get back to the vehicle. Get back on the Doctor No Machine. Hold to engage. Throttle up. And here we go. And laid down. And off we go. Nice and gently. We're going to learn from last time. We didn't double check the height, did we? We did not. There we go. There you go. I've left a marker behind so we know where we need to come back to. And yeah, we're going to actually try and actually succeed on this one because last time we did the opposite field it did not go well because we were trying to invent a new sport called speed mowing thick grass and it did not go according to plan shall we say so we're on the Doctor Hut No Machine now and we are absolutely crushing it hello new people who have just joined how are we all doing Speed mowing is coming back. That's not. It's not. That's not the way to win. It's not the way to win this competition. Got to be patient, careful, accurate, and all those things that I'm not being right now. There we go. So this was all cut at the wrong height. That's why we're going back over it, and we know it's all finished up and it's all at the right height because there was our marker. And there we go. We've hit the tough grass now trying to read a comment and mow at the same time practically impossible but we can do this because we can that's a good point that's what I thought that you, you do one and then you spit it all out on the other so yeah after this lap we'll go around the opposite direction so we're not putting layer upon layer of grass into the middle where we're cutting, but we're also not throwing it out on the sidewalk or paths or roses and everything like that. And all the new people went. The last time I try and engage on new people. What time is it? I'm really subconscious. Almost 11. Okay, so we're on the Dr. No machine. Oh dear. No. Speed mowing is bad. 
to be. Oh, we're going to go the opposite direction, aren't we? That's what we were doing. Yep, this is great. It's good. Four miles an hour, it's all been kicked out and to the outside. And wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. Right, trees, let's go around it. So temperamental, this little thing. Also, I'm pretty sure my little hopper flap is a bit wonky now. Okay, so we're going to smooth that over in a bit. Okay, so we've gone around the outside twice one way. Now we're going to go around the other way in the opposite direction so that all the grass is being flung onto the outside lanes. Here we go, it's just finding that perfect balance. So this game is also available on, like, with the, like, adjustable... Why do I keep saying like? So this game is also available with the steering wheel and the pedals and stuff, which, you know, like one of those computer pedal things and everything. I'm playing with the controller right now, which is great fun, much better than the, the keyboard and mouse, I will say lots more control however I was thinking about it I was like hmm is it could you justify could I justify spending that much on a computer PC steering wheel and things Ooh. I mean it was between that and this awesome t-shirt here Oop. law and order order Order! God, I miss Burko. He was a legend. Oh, this thing just goes nuts on the grass. Just get in there. Just destroys everything. Like, I wonder how big a big thing is. That's where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to the ultimate, unlock all of them. It's not going to happen in the next hour or so. But, we can try. We've got another bay. We can buy back. Technically, actually, we could buy Bertha, couldn't we? get one of those by employ another person and then we can go out and have three people mowing earning more money oh that is so happening I'm so doing that that's such a good plan we get Bertha back we've got bigger Bertha and we've got this Dr. No thing I don't even know if Dr. No is the right doc uh, Bond character to reference. It is lagging. I'm going to have to look into this. It's another school of thought to go to. That's a good point. It should cut around the trees. How are we doing on the old engine condition is good, 80%. 
This thing turns on a penny. Like, that is ridiculously... I think we just went through the tree there. So now we've figured it out, and the mulching technique and everything. Speed mowing could be a thing now. Speed mowing, yeah. Dug -a -dug -a -dug -a -dug -a give it a kick-ass theme tune. Dug -a -dug -a -dug -a -dug -a going halfway through the blade. And just absolutely bombing it. actually working for a change. Speed mowing. So you're using half the blade, but you're going more than half faster, so therefore should theoretically pump out more than even, right? Roughly, if one of your multipliers goes down in half, but one of your other multipliers goes up in half, more than half, you should make more, right? I mean, it's very late, and math is not a strong point at this time. Although, we do seem to be shifting a lot faster. Speed mowing, dun 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 dun. Speed mowing, dun 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 dun. Yeah. Honestly, this game is very highly addictive. Straight line, straight line now, straight line. Take the brunt, take the brunt. Or maybe if they could put the blade on a pitch, and then when you went round, the top, like, if it was tilted like that, as you went round, it, like, cut the top of the, the ones on the left, and then the closer you got round in the circle, the more it cut, so, you know, you're cutting off a little bit at the time. So instead of the blade being straight, it would be at a diagonal, if that makes any, any sense. And then that way, as you were coming to cut it at height, it would be like thinned out and it wouldn't be as thick because you've already done a bit of trimming from the previous whiz round. I don't know, you know, just food for thought. Yeah, and here we go. No, blocked. Speed mowing, speed mowing. Here we go, get in. I think I think that could be the COD crew calling in, having a look in a gander. Potentially it's the right time for them. And here we go. 
speed mowing could be a thing, actually. Ferrari. You heard it here first. Let's get some Ferrari lawnmowers and some McLaren lawnmower. Oh my god, it'll be like redneck Formula One. It'll be brilliant. I would watch the hell out of that. Just like F1, but with lawn mowers. Like you would just be like that. That'd be philanthropic. Go, come on. So smashing it. See, so the tactic here with speed mowing. Not to do a good quality job, it's to do a very fast but smooth job. And that way you get more money to repair the machine you just really broke badly. So you're only cutting half of this all, all stuff on purpose, so you can get around much faster. Which is going to cause more of a mess, don't get me wrong. But also at the same time, you are going way faster so therefore like we are actually insanely clearing up this area now speed lorem mowing Okay, I'm starting to crack. I'm starting to get tired now. Come on, come on, move out of my way. Here we go today. Come on, come around, come around. Coming left through the field. Turn, see? They're going around the hairpin. They're coming around the center out bit. They're coming straight down. McLaren are in the lead, but Ferrari are pulling up with their monstrosity of a vehicle. You see, like, it'll be brilliant. Formula One law mowing. That'd be sick. Probably exists. Not gonna lie. Andy's our, 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 our expert from America, because that's where I believe that's got the greatest likelihood. If they had such a thing as tractor pulling. And they will definitely, definitely have F1 lawn mowing. Which I believe will be an absolutely epic thing. Oh, sorry. This thing turns on a dime and it does not break the grass at all. Because normally you get a penalty. If you turn too fast in this game, it gives you a penalty for damaging the grass. With this, you could turn around at speed and not damage the ground at all. Let's give it a go. Hold on. Nothing. You would have got a ground damage penalty for that one, 100%. 
Oh no, it shows a little bit of ground damage, but not as much as if you were in Bertha. I think if Bertha did that, it would definitely like tear up all the grass and stuff. Here we go, coming back down. Yeah, so this game obviously comes out tomorrow and is definitely worth the £25 or $30 slash euros that you'll need to purchase one of these. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, all the way around, all the way around. Right, now to mop up all these little bits. We've, we made it, we made it, dude. We made it. Cleaning all this up now. Getting rid of all the loose ends. Ah, you see, look, it's picking up all the uh, mulch, so do know if you spit it out into the middle I guess then it is going to be picked up let's give our little theory a try in a second see if it actually works oh come on that's sick but you just let go of the accelerator and it just spins on a dime Ah. Oh. Here we come, coming down, get grabbing it. Here we go. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. I think I might call it an end off this one. I'm just too tired for commentary. Just absolutely knackered. We definitely went through the tree on that one. Yeah, we're done here. We're done. It's done. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's actually, no, let's try our secret, super secret plan. Oh, oh. Let's try our super secret plan. And have three bays open. Go get Bertha back, the original. And... gonna go right hold on let me just have a thing let me just set my alarm for the morning so I don't wake up late for work hold on right so alarm is set 
Wonderful. Yes, alarm is set. Right, let's try our super secret plan. So what we're going to do here now is we've got, we could have earned 945 pound. We walk away with almost a grand. Perfect. Quite a few penalties, but you know, that comes with speed mowing. And yep, Jesse's gone out. He's absolutely smashed it. Look at that. It's brilliant. And trusted. We've achieved a, a achievement here called trusted so let's see we got five thousand pound to buy a new lawnmower and haven't really got many options so we're gonna go back with bertha get her back and we're gonna put someone on bertha who should we go for who should we go for Eeny, meeny, money, mo, catch a knicker by the... There's not many women in this game. Where are the ladies at? Can't ladies mow? Ladies not allowed to mow? Who knows if they're allowed to mow? Right, so... Ugh, you. Object. Stop falling over, please. And let's do this. Let's engage. Let's get this done. And Daniel Briggs, proficient, proficient, proficient journeyman. Let's get proficient. Let's get someone who's really expensive and put them on a noob machine. That would be really funny. So we've got three guys now in the field, and we're going to send, where's our journeyman? There we go, and we're going to, oh. always requires the one I didn't buy, always, that's annoying. Right, send him. That one, why not? Um, see how much money we can like rake in. Hold on. Wonderful. Let's assign the guys the big guns. Actually, no, let's not. Let's assign them the small guns. And we're going to do... Let's have a look, let's have a look. 12 minutes, that's fairly short. Collector or mulcher. So it needs a big one. Okay, general cut. Can only be done by Bertha. Cool. Let's go old school. So the guys are out having fun on the big ones, putting in the big contracts, and we're just going to mess about with this little one here in a very posh estate, it seems. And yes, let's have a look. Ground check. Where are we going with this? How do we get to the... Oh, okay. This is very posh. This is a very posh area. Got a dog toy we just found. And the stream is definitely juttering. Look at that. I think loads of people might be online in my area. There we go. Found all three. <gasps> this is the perfect Zamboni cut. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. This is the perfect way to end Lawn and Order for today. And, well, depending on uh, whether we get the... If we can keep the game or not. 
if we can't, then we're going to have to pay the, the price to get the game back. And also, we might lose Law and Order. Why is that? Why is that? Let's have a look at our graphics. What if I go down to seventeen twenty? Ah, oh, no. How's that? Right. Let's go. Perfect Zamboni cut coming up. Five. Okay, so we've got to go down to five centimeters. Right, but how is the quality of it? I mean, I know it's not jumpy. I mean, I've definitely messed up somewhere on Streamlabs because I'm using Streamlabs for this right now. But do you reckon after a certain point they try and kick you off streaming and just be like, stop streaming now, you've been streaming for too long, you're using up too much of YouTuber's data, mining stuff, whatever it is. It's very late at night. So there we go. We're going to go all the way up because we're actually cutting at the right height now. And also for a little bit of fun, my mic is blocking the quality of the blades and the engine. So I have no idea what it looks like from this angle and how much damage I'm doing to them or not. So here we go, we're at, we're at the lower resolution, which is very weird playing it on an awesome screen. But if it looks better on the stream, then you've got to go with what looks better on the stream. Okay, so we've been around twice. so weird. Streaming's weird. Right, okay. Been around twice now for the Zamboni cut to start. Go down the middle. Just like they do at the ice rink. And this way it's just nice and controlled. Turn into it. There we go. And we come along here. Nice and controlled straight up. Okay, turn it around, and we're going to go on the right side of this turn now, three, two, one, oh dear, there we go, nice, controlled, and swoop in there, okay, so if we come over here we can see, oh, I think that's, oh, that was almost perfect. Almost fully efficient. Could have got away with that. You see, also, with me basically testing out... This is going to sound like Holcomb now, but... With me testing out the difference in all the different frame rates, I can watch it back tomorrow or whenever and be like, Okay, right, so that was at that frame rate, that was at that frame rate type thing, and yeah, see which one's going to be better for the stream. Damn it, okay. Here we go.
Oh yeah, it's going to be a bigger problem if we keep doing that to me. So... Okay, yeah. Uh, 12 minutes was the time to beat, wasn't it? We have, and we did have that kind of technical difficulty. So... But we are 40% down, so that's good. Oop, sorry, I took my eye out of the prize there for a second. It is just efficient. Just to keep going around like this. So did you listen to all the radio stations and the little in-betweeny bits? Could you tell it was me? Like doing the, uh, welcome back to Country FM. Uh, coming up next is so-and-so, so-and-so. See, that was a really clever move on my part because I used YouTube's music from their store that you can use completely for free and then mixed in my own little thing, so therefore had its own flavour and stuff. This is not as fast, this, this mulch is not as fast, I'm not impressed. Like, Bertha has sadly become depressing to me. Now, after the many years we've been driving together, They see me mowing, they hate in. Whoop! What time is it? It's uh, twenty past. Okay. Yep, no, my eyes are officially dried out from being under the ring light and stuff. Ugh. We're going to finish this one up, see how much money the boys bring back, and then we'll leave it there, and I will... I'll tell you what, I'll post out a little happy face or a sad face on Twitter to say if I've still got the game or not tomorrow night, or if I had to buy it. I mean, it would be kind of a nice thing if Skyhooks just gave it to me for being like, thanks for sacrificing your weekend to make content for us. But also, content for you and your, your subscribers. I mean, it would be nice. I mean, they don't have to. I think, you, I think influencers should have to pay for stuff they use, like hotels and stuff. That's definitely a big one. Because that is a business. True, they do bring people to their hotels, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know, where is where is that, that line between a marketeer, like an in influencer, being paid to improve your profits and revenue? See, that's a, that's a sticky line as well. Oh. Ah. You made me laugh and now my grass is wonky. Ah, oh, you see, I just... Oh, 
Fine, I'll have to go even harder, won't I? Zamboni method, it's awesome and it's so cool. Ha, ah, no pun intended. I once entered a competition about writing jokes. I entered quite a lot of them, but unfortunately, no pun intended. I can't, I can't remember how that one went. I did like dad joke of the year though that was a that was a classic dad joke like absolutely brilliant i hired a limo for a special day out this guy turned up and he just got out i was like hey mate where are you going aren't you going to drive it and he went no 400 pound only gets you the limo not the driver i couldn't believe it i spent all that money and nothing to chauffeur it I'll see my I'll see myself out. Don't worry. I'll see myself out. Hold on. Taxi. No, I think that was an absolutely brilliant joke. Um. Oh, it's got to that stage where we're telling dad jokes to fight off the tiredness. This game does make you question. Is life a simulation, and is it is it part of the simulation to question simulation? Here we go. So is the quality of the footage better at 720? I really need to find some friends to like help me do this. Oh no, no. How am I going to do the tight turn now? Okay, we appallingly somehow missed. A lot of little bits missed as well. Oh, what is my worst joke? Um, apart from my life. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I am... Alright, so... She's going to kill me. Cause she, hel she hates that she fell for it. She, she will never admit it. That she hates it. But on my... Uh, on my dating profile, and I thought this was really good. So if you're if you're using that new Thursday one, and you need uh, to update your bio in your dating app, I absolutely thoroughly recommend this one if you're into a good awful joke. Which is, and I honest to God had this. I think I've got a picture, or a screenshot of it somewhere. Um. Oh, I can't remember how it goes. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, that was it. What are you most known for? That's 
said, dad jokes slash bad jokes, but not cheese jokes, because I can and bear them. Uh, <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Love it. Sets it up in such a nice way. The rule of three is in there. Ah, oh, damn it. Damage the grass. And everything is in there as well, which is brilliant. Like the great setup, the twist at the end. We're really bad at this. Ninety-two percent. What have I missed? Okay, this is so low res. It's kind of hard to see where I've missed now. Um, funnily enough, I have bumped into the man himself, and he is lovely and huge. Massive man. I I'm six foot on the dot. I don't say that as a, like a five, ten man with a complex. I say that as like a man who could be literally used to measure doorways that are six foot. Or where we were in Wicks one time, and my mate went, "Are you really six foot?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "Right, jump on that six by nine, like six by six by four plasterboard thing." Uh, I did. I literally. Measured, I, I literally fit end to end. And the rock was huge. He was bigger than me. Which is really weird because I saw Statham as well. At the same time. And I was looking down at Statham. And I was like, what? The illusion has been shattered. Both of them, really lovely guys. But yeah. Right, there we go. Disconnect. Let's go. Go. Let's do this. Let's see if my cheeky plan has paid off. And we've done this. And then I think I'm going to call it because it's what? What is it? Oh my god, it's half 11. Yes, no, we're going to call it there. That's the, the, the might of lawn and order. We have successfully completed this. No, we haven't completed it, but you know. Oh, right, let's see what happens. We could have got £215, we got 240 quid. Nice, get in. Uh, a new guy. I think that's a new guy. Is that a new guy? Yeah, new guy. He did a good job cracking. Brings in an extra 37 quid. Love it. What about the other guy? Can we only send two things out at once? Is that... Hold on. Wait, hold on. Sign Jesse. Let's do that one for now. And then we'll go this one. So on the second one. Okay, we'll change those over. Yeah, you can see I don't really know what's up or down anymore. Right. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it's three contracts. 
So you can do three at a time. <laughs> Phrasing. Um, oh, the team has grown. Look at that. Boom. There's Daniel and Jesse. And they all look quite shockingly similar. Like as if this was an inbred family run garden business. And I don't really like the way they're breathing in the same motion. Can you pick that up on the stream? Like. Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Look at them. They look like they're about to pounce on something. Anyway, right. So that is where I'm going to leave it. You can get away with three. And can we have the big machine yet? Can we have the big machine? Can we trade? Pike exchange this vehicle. No, what opens up this? How do we get that? Oh, we've upgraded the HQ as well. Brilliant. Let's go, let's go. Let's put it all out there. Put all of it out there. And that will do it for today because we've done pretty much everything. And that is all gravy. Thank you, old rocker, for staying with me for so long. Hope you have a lovely rest of your evening and a good night's sleep because I am I'm straight off to bed. I don't even think I'm going to catch Rick and Morty on Rewind. I think I'm going straight to bed, have a lovely night, and wake up in the morning, and I will post a picture on my Twitter, which I think we're, we're now all following each other on Twitter, so I'll post a picture on Twitter with a happy face or sad face, and yes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much for watching this whole playlist and getting through to from the beginning to the end. Like, subscribe, and all that great stuff. And I will see you for another episode of this, maybe, or Portsleydale coming up soon. Oh, thank you. Can I like that message from in here? Hold on, one quick test bonus material. Can I like? No, I can't like it. Nope. But, yes. Thank you all, Rocker. Good night, and good night to everyone else, and good luck with the rest of the week. Oh, and also, Live Night is going to be moving to Tuesdays because of work coming forth. I need to get loads of stuff done by the Tuesday, so therefore I feel I won't be able to have time to do it on a Monday, so therefore on a Tuesday would be better because I can smash it, get out of the way, and then I'm free, theoretically, Tuesday night, and then onwards will be good. But yes, that is all a different conversation for another day. Good night, goodbye, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun out there. Bye-bye.